Well, as you all know, um, last weekend I had a bit of a um, misfortune and I lost my Armatan, um, the camera ship that I built. It's not the original one, I've still got my original Armatan, but I built this one specifically to do, uh, to use as a camera ship. Now, as you'll see on the, um, the DVR footage, um, it just basically disappeared. It wasn't, it wasn't responding to any commands apart from mode switches. Um, I couldn't bring it home. I couldn't do anything with it. I really don't know what happened. I suspect the uh, the connector that goes into the GPS and mag. I suspect that actually came out. So a word of warning: just put a blob of hot glue on that on the vector. So as a result, um, I decided to get some um, GPS trackers. Um, now I bought two. I've actually bought. There's another one that's coming. It's got to come from New Zealand. Um, but anyway, these two that I've got. So I've got a GPS, and this one, although it says GPS, it's not GPS. It's just GPRS, um, which gets the. Um, the positioning from the network towers. Uh, I think it just um, it, it knows where it is from the signal from the towers. I don't know. Anyway, anyway, we'll do um, we'll do this one first. So with this one, what did I get? The unit, a USB lead, and a Chinglish instruction manual. Um, if you know Chinese, there it is. And it's sort of, sort of in English on the other side. Now, all you do with this one, you've got to charge it up first. But all you do is you put your SIM card in, and it automatically comes on. Um, you can't tell with the back cover on. You have to actually look down the side to see if the red light's on. I don't like that. I really don't like it. You can't really see a lot through the holes in the back. Anyway, when you turn it on, you send it a text message. Um, you just text the, 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 the SIM number that you've got with DW, and it actually comes back with... So I've got my phone here, and as you can see, I sent two text messages. The first one didn't work for some reason, I don't know why. But the final text message I got is all in Chinese and it's also got a link. Now, when you click on the link, it asks you what you want to open it with. So it opens it with a browser. Anyway, it goes to another Chinese website and as you can see, I don't know if you're going to be able to with this, but if I zoom out, keep zooming out. It says it's in China. So I don't I don't know. I've tried switching it off, switching it back on, I've tried absolutely everything, and it still says I am in China. I don't know whereabouts in the world that is. Maybe somebody can actually enlighten me. So that didn't work. That was an absolute total and utter waste of money. Don't get one. Number one it's GPRS and number two it says you're in China. So the other one I got is this one. This one has got GPS in it. It's bigger, it's heavier. I really don't know what that bit on the front is. It just doesn't do anything but anyway. So this, this one, like I say, it does GPS. It also does GPRS. If you can't get a GPS signal, it will then give the GPRS position, which is absolutely fantastic. But I've also found out that if it loses GPS, it gives you the last known GPS position if it's within the GPRS range, which is about 100 metres. So if it's gone more than 100 metres after the last known GPS position, it will give you the GPRS, if that sort of makes sense, I don't know. So, you get a USB lead for charging, which you've got to charge it first. 
you get a very pervy sort of a plastic bag thing for it with a bit of a, a zippy thing on it. You get two batteries, so I've still got to charge that one. You get a magnetic back for it. So inside we have, there's a TF, um, sorry, a micro SD card slot there that you can actually put an SD card in it and it actually records to the SD card. Although I really don't know how you're supposed to put an SD card in there, it's just not, it's not possible. But anyway, so you put your SIM card in there and then you put your battery in and then you put your rear cover on. Um, it's got a monitor with voice surveillance that you can actually phone it and it answers the phone and you can hear what's going on because there's a microphone inside. Um, auto storage, it'll actually, um, when it loses GSM signal, it, it basically stores um, the data until it gets a GSM signal. Um, it's got a geofence, if, if it goes outside of a certain um, place it will send you a text to say this has gone off to a certain place. It's also got a movement alert, so if you put it on someone's car or do whatever you want to do unorthodox, it will send you a text. It's got an overspeed alert, so if it goes over a certain speed it will send you a text. It's got an SOS button on the side of it in case you get raped. I might find that handy. Um, you've also got low battery alert, it will send you a text message. You've also got state check-in, IMEI check-in, GPRS settings and everything else. Anyway, so when I send this text message, if I can, I'll, I'll show you the text message now. I did a test um, to see what happens when it can't get GPS signal. So I, I turned the, I purposely turned the unit, um, turned it face down like that, um, left it underneath the cushion or whatever so as it lost GPS signal. Sent it the text um, saying check and then you put your password in, whatever password you set up. It's all very descriptive, the instructions. And it tells you GSM is 100%, GPS no, GPRS is off, battery is 100%. So the next one that you get is actually a um, GPS coordinates with a Google's map link um, to wherever it is. So if you click on that, yes. you can open Google's, Google Maps. I've actually got Copilot installed on here. So if I click on Copilot, it actually, believe it or not, takes you exactly there. And you can even plan a route to it. But anyway, we'll use Maps. So you go onto Google Maps. And it tells you exactly, exactly where it is. Now with Google Maps, if you want to walk there, you just set the... I can't show you that because it's my GPS location. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So there you have it. If you want, I'm going to do some live um, testing tomorrow morning um, to see how well this actually functions. Well, I decided to take it apart because I want to put a compact flash card in it. Anyway, to get it apart, you take the back off. There's one screw which is under, under the under the quality label you just undo the screw and that will just pull out so what we have in here we've got um, your SIM card slot your micro SD card slot obviously the USB port slot USB port battery connectors um, on the back you've got a very slim line um, GPS um, patch antenna, you've got the um, GSM transmitter. I'm going to try and show you this, um, I've noticed something on here, that when you put the battery in, I'm 
trying to keep this on shot, sorry. Oh, just incidentally I've, I've cut a piece of the, uh, the bottom casing out on there to drop this bottom piece down so as I can get my SIM card in properly. When you put the, um, put the battery in, what you think is actually where the terminals are, it isn't. So it doesn't come on. And I've had that problem a couple of times with this. So what I've done is just here, I've just cut a piece of that off so as the battery goes over a bit more. So now when you put it in, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see it power up. There you go. So the green light comes on automatically. In true criminal fashion, I've come back to the scene of the crime. I don't know if you can actually see how dense this woodland is, but it is very dense. So what I've done is, by the side of this tree, this is quite a steep hill, believe it or not. So I've put the GPS tracker there. Now, GSM signal round here is quite bad. Um, dial, dial the thing. It's got no signal. Yeah, I've walked about another, I just think it's about three miles over various places. Oh, I've crashed down here a few times. There, and there, and there, and there, and there. Oh, I don't know. I think I'll start doing a, a life video. Just walk around with a camera and you can experience my life in general, because it's crap sometimes. Absolutely everything that can go wrong, it can go wrong, it does go wrong. You could call me sod if you want. Yeah. Dog shit. Oh, dog shit. Dog shit. Dog shit. Gotta go.